This is one of 85 fires sweeping across central and southern Chile. There aren't enough firefighters to deal with the crisis on this scale, so in the town of Penco, people are battling the flames themselves without protective clothing, using buckets, garden hoses and branches to stop the fire spreading. But the flames are too strong and all they can do is watch as home after home burns. I've lived here since I was four and it's shocking how everything can be destroyed in a moment. One day your home's here, the next it's gone. It's unbelievable. The fires have been fueled by strong winds and a heat wave. They cover an area twice the size of New York City. Last week the government declared a state of emergency, but Chileans say it hasn't done enough to help them. Some confronted President Michelle Bachelet as she visited the affected areas. I understand there is pain and anger. The only thing I can say is that the people who are working to combat the flames have done so with tremendous heroism. In the town of Santa Olga, 1,500 homes burnt down on Wednesday night. The fire service say they were forced to abandon them to save their own lives. Residents say they've lost everything. The flames raised all that we had. We spent two days fighting the fire with our neighbours, making firewalls around the whole area. President Bachelet says some of the fires may have been started intentionally. Volunteer firefighters say they don't understand why people would do that. We have always had forest fires, but they last a few hours. These fires have lasted more than 10 days and are spreading from village to village. More than 4,000 emergency workers are battling the fires with the help of water dumping aircraft. But for now, they're still spreading south. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.